Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in our last uh, discussion, we had studied about two uh, personality traits. Uh, one was egoist and then we did ego test. I hope uh, the concepts had been clear to you. So now the third type of uh, uh, this personality type we are going to study is an altruist altruist okay altruist altruist is a person uh, that uh, who, who who is very helping to others uh, like uh, uh, if if you are an altruist what will you do you have discovered this secret of true happiness concerning yourself with the welfare of others uh, you never mind your own interest how the next fellows getting along that is the main uh, basic thing you want to do uh, actually this is the person who is very very helpful so uh, we can say this is a person who is helpful okay then the fourth one we have to study is an introvert okay introvert from the name it is understood that this has an intro which is like inside okay so uh, this is a person uh, who very minutely examines his own thoughts uh, his own feelings his own actions he keeps on thinking about that uh, he, he is very busy with the, the questions like how do i look maybe i shouldn't have said that probing futile questions like uh, uh, what do the other people think of me so these are the nagging questions nagging questions that uh, keep on following the person and uh, this person could be a uh, little unsocial uh, yet uh, he has a great desire to be uh, accepted to be liked uh, uh, this person could be shy he could be quiet uh, often moody and unhappy and uh, this person pro uh, prefers solitude it doesn't mean that is a ne negative uh, a negative personality trait but only the thing that the person is uh, very much confined to himself uh, this person can be genius this can be uh, a very creative person also but the thing is that this person is uh, very much uh, invested in himself okay so i hope this thing is clear then next is extrovert extra word okay from the extra it means out okay that out type of personality uh, th this introvert was a leave me alone kind of a guy okay leave me alone we can write here just for our remembrance egoist was uh, we we had done it me first and then egotist was using the word i very often then uh, altruist is a person who is very helpful and introvert is a person who says mostly leave me alone now that there, there is an extrovert the new one this is a person who is wanting to be with everyone so this is a person who means let's do everything let's do it together so this person's basic nature is to be in a group to uh, be helpful uh, this a person could be a teacher counselor administrator insert ins insurance agent you can always become interested sincerely widely interested in other people's problems you're the life of the party because you you are never worrying about the fact of your actions so this is a kind of person who is very uh, happy most of the times he is generally full of high spirits and he loves to be with people so uh, these are uh, these person will be having uh, m very great thoughts very great interests and whole personality is turned outwards okay this introvert was for in and extrovert is for out outward okay then the next one we have to study is an ambivert now we have done mb 
वर्ड वी हैव डन इंट्रो वर्ड वी हैव डन एक्सट्रो वर्ड इंट्रो वर्ड वॉज सम वन हु वॉज कन्वाइंड टू हेम सेल्फ एक्सट्रो वर्ड इज अ पर्सन हु इज कन्फाइंड विद अदर्स एंड एम्बी वर्ड ही इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ दिस वन एंड दिस वन ऑल टूगेदर ही ही इज एट समाइम्स इंट्रो वर्ड at some times he is extrovert at different times and different occasions his behavior is little bit different from the earlier one okay most of the people most of the people in our society are ambivert as per me as per my uh, observation i have found that most of the people are ambivert who are introvert at times and who are extrovert at some other times so i hope you understand the ambivert person uh, this is uh, neither to an extreme uh, this was an extreme case of um, a lone person this was an extreme case of uh, group uh, person now this is not a uh, extreme person so we can write here that uh, this is neither extreme sorry for my spelling neither extreme neither extreme okay. all right so we have studied egoist egotist altruist introvert extrovert ambivert so now what more are there there is a word you must have heard is misanthrope misanthrope all right this is a kind of person uh, who says like no one is good this is not a negative thinker but uh, this is a cynical person you know uh, he is embittered uh, he is suspicious he hates everyone especially but never to be admitted yourself okay uh, the perfect stability of the human race nonsense no way the stupidity the meanness and the crookedness of most mortals uh, like he 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 will be finding uh, problems in others like this is these people are no damn good okay so this is a misanthrope i hope you understood this then the next one is a misogynist misogynist you must uh, correlate this with gynecologist so gyne is a word which is related with the with the females okay so now this is this is a kind of personality misogynist this is a person uh, who sometimes in uh, in his uh, uh, past must have crossed or scorned or deeply wounded by uh, some woman uh, and he is now very carefully constructed uh, ha- he has constructed defense against uh, such people uh, such women and he doesn't like to get in touch with any of the women so he is um, he he is a person who thinks uh, ladies are not good uh, women are not good so he thinks that women are not good so this is a person who is a misogynist okay so for misanthrope we had understood this was a person who says no one is good like hope you understand this is a person who says no people is good all right no people is good and misogynist is a person who says no woman is good no woman is good hope you understood this thing then a new no new one this is a meso gamist Uh, if you have uh, studied science you must be uh, heard of polygamy or uh, uh, monogamy so gamy is for union uh, gamy is for marriage now what does it mean misogamist is a person uh, who thinks that it is all right to um, uh, have other member of opposite sex as uh, uh, you can have them as lover you can have them as roommates uh, or uh, ha- you can share your house with them but you do not want to marry you you are not in favor of legal commitment i hope you understood they avoid marriages but they want 
it is it is uh, normal for them it is okay for them uh, to be uh, with uh, other other sex members uh, like lovers roommates etc anything but not marriage okay uh, and the ties that bind are are too binding for you that you believe possibly uh, like there is there shouldn't be any marriage okay you can stay with other uh, other sex uh, but you are against marriage so this is a person who will not marry okay i hope you you understood this uh, this person won't marry then the last one is an ascetic this is ascetic okay ascetic is a person who is like a sadhu in our uh, hindi language this is a person uh, who is in self denial he is uh, uh, in austerity he is in lonely contemplation these are the characteristics of good life uh, so uh, he he is in his nirvana state uh, he thinks uh, only simple food and least amount of it will keep his body and soul together so he is uh, uh, he has uh, um, left all the fleshy or the pleasures and he is into the spiritual perfection so this is his philosophy that uh, everything what is there is simple and you know uh, self denial okay this is a kind of person who is an ascetic okay i hope all of these words have been clear to you and i'll be coming with more words i hope you understand thank you